Hello friends, welcome back to All on On Law. And today I'm going to talk about measles virus for microbiology. This is a medical video lecture, microbiology. Measles virus. Measles virus. Okay guys. So this measles virus, it belongs to the family that is a paramyxoviridae, right? So it belongs to that family. Good. Now let's see. Tell me, how does it look and what are the important points as for what you call uh, for USMLE step one. So this is a medical a microbiology medical video lecture. Okay, guys. So let me draw a diagram over here. I don't know. I'm good at this. Okay. Okay, so this is exactly what it looks like. Um, so the, tell me, the measles virus is RNA or a DNA? It's an RNA virus. Okay, it's a RNA virus. Okay, single stranded or a double stranded? It's a single stranded. Most of the RNA viruses are single stranded. Remember, and most of the DNA viruses are double stranded, which is the single stranded DNA virus is a power of B19. Okay, so it's a negative. Okay, it's a what do you call enveloped okay and it's a helical right so these are the important things about the measles virus okay so it has a glycoprotein that's the h glycoprotein h glycoprotein okay glycoprotein and the other important thing is it has a fusion protein fusion protein okay and it does it lacks what you call neuroaminidase no Neuroaminidase. Neuroaminidase. Okay, guys. So, no neuroaminidase. So, yes, glycoprotein and the fusion proteins. No neuroaminidase. It's a single standard RNA virus, negative, enveloped, helical. Okay, guys. Right? Got it? Now, tell me the reservoir for this. The reservoir is human respiratory tract. Respiratory tract. Okay. So what's the transmission? Route of transmission is a respiratory route, right? So that's it. So what's the pathogenesis? So it causes a cell, giant cell, giant cell. What's the giant cell? Is it causes cell to cell fusion, and that results in the what you call a uh, giant cell. Okay. So this is very important. Now the disease. Disease it causes you know very well the measles is a C three C's. There's a curve, coryza, and what is it called? Conjunctivitis. Cough, coryza, and conjunctivitis. Okay. But guys, and the important, another important thing is um, coplic spots. Very important. And a maculopapular rash from the ears down. Okay. And giant cell pneumonia. Very important. Watkins Finkerly cells. Very important. Okay. And it causes one of the complications is subacute sclerosing panencephalitis. Subacute sclerosing panencephalitis. Usually in USM step and examination, what they give is they gave the clinical history very similar to what you call really very uh, peculiar case history of measles and they will ask you what which of the following do you see in this virus like they give the negative standard RNA or they give whether it's an enveloped negative single standard RNA or in helical or it contains neuroaminidase like this they will confuse you okay they will try to trick you and remember as we know, the subacute sclerosing panencephalitis is really very important complication of this. So in USMLE step and examination, they give that patient, they give the history. He had some cough, conjunctivitis, and coryza, and photophobia. Okay, and later a few years, he developed what he called he has what he called um, develops personality changes in the form of whether it's a seizures, myoclonus, ataxia, photosensitivity, confusion, or ocular manifestations spasticity okay or sudden coma all right so these are the things they can mention and they will ask you which of the following could be caused for is this so think it's as a measles virus so measles virus for a usml step one you have to remember the subacute sclerosing pan and cephalitis is a really very important complication of this okay guys so how would you diagnose it's by serology right it's by serology and how do you treat it is a support you or Lowers the body temperature, maintains a good hydration, electrolytes, very important. And how would you prevent it? It's by live attenuated virus, that is MMR. 
measles mumps rubella measles okay so thank you so much for watching this video take care